Greetings everyone. My name is Pooja V. Prasharudi. I'm going to review the book The Grip of Change written by P. Shivagami. I'm going to be sharing my personal thoughts and a book review. Firstly, a little bit about the author P. Shivagami. P. Shivagami is an Indian Dalit feminist writer who predominantly writes in Tamil. She's also an activist who voices on contemporary social and political issues. Her notable works include Parayana Karidalam, from which The Grip of Change, the book uh, we are discussing, was translated and published in 2006 by herself. P. Shivagami, or Palanimuthu Shivagami, was born on 30th November 1957 in Perambalur, Tamil Nadu. Her father, M. Palanimuthu, is an independent MLA. Shivagami has graduate and postgraduate degrees in history. She is the author of six novels and more than 60 short stories. Her notable works include Parayana Karidalum, Kuruku Vettu, Nalum Thudurum, and Kadesi Mandar. Since 1995, she has been centrally involved in the publication of the literary journal Pudya Kadangi and has a lively investment in issues that touch Dalit and other backward castes and women in Tamil Nadu. She is the first Tamil Dalit woman to write a novel, Parayana Karidalam, in 1989. A literary and commercial success the novel created, a stir by taking on patriarchy in the Dalit movement. The novel is translated by the author herself and published in English as The Grip of Change, 2006. Her second novel, Anandai, is about the violent treatment of women and was translated into English by Pritham K. Chakravarti as The Taming of Women in 2011. Her first poetry collection was published in October 2011. Shivagami has written four critically acclaimed novels, all of them centered on Dalit and feminist themes. She has written numerous short stories and poems focusing on similar issues. Shivakami's novels portray the rustic story of women who suffer at the hands of men who strongly believe in and stand for patriarchy. The conflicts and struggles are between tenacious women and tyrannical men in the contemporary society. Shivakami made a short film, Udaha, based on a story written by one of her friends. Set in 1995, it was selected by the National Panorama and won the President Award the same year. She quit the Indian Administrative Service in 2008 after 29 years and joined politics a year later. Contesting the Lok Sabha polls from Kanyakumari, representing the Bahujan Samaj Party. However, she lost the elections. In 2009, she founded her own political party, Samuga Samaduva Padai, which was based on the principle of the Dalit icon B.R. Ambedkar. The prominence of this novel lies in both the subtle and the non-subtle themes it represents. According to Pradibha Somkuvar, Pishivakami's The Grip of Change, an English translation by herself of Tamil novel Parayana Karidalam, is an expression of the youth of the oppressed community who is eagerly asking questions to patriarchal dominance. The novel starts with Tangam's story and ends with Gaudi's firm decision to remain unmarried after not finding any answer to patriarchy. While reading The Grip of Change, one can observe the beauty of narratives arising from its body centricity. Tangam, a Dalit woman's body, bears testimonies to the difficulties and violence faced by the Dalit woman. The author directly relates Tangam's body with fertility, letting her to face the triple marginalized status by the hands of social structures, power relations and patriarchy. Her character is portrayed skillfully as a subaltern Dalit widow. Shivakami is critical of the Dalit movement and the Dalit patriarchy and yet does not become a castrator because of her participation in search of solution. The Gipras Change is about the intercaste sexual relations. The author sheds light on how patriarchy gets diluted on its way down the caste ladder. P. Shivakami gets success in narrating the authentic information in a terrifying way. The protagonist, 
Kadamuthu is a charismatic parayar leader who intervenes in the matter of parayar woman Tangam. beaten up by the relatives of her upper caste lover let's talk about the characters of the grip of change although kadamuthu nayakar is said to be the protagonist of the novel i feel like the women or the female characters in the novel have more prominence in the story because of the intersectional suffering that they go through some of the notable characters in the story are tangam and gauri gauri being kadamuthu's daughter who aspires to get educated and out of the caste focused village let's move into the book itself let's see what are the plot points in the grip of change the book starts with a gruesome description of a beaten up woman who is tangam tangam's husband had died and her relatives had abandoned her as a widow the brother in law exploited her sexually this is why she had to be alone prajonthi udayar or the upper caste man forced himself on tangam This was a case of rape. Knowing this, Prajonti Udayar's wife had sent her brothers to beat up Tangam. This is a part of intersectional suffering she had to go through. This multi-dimensional discrimination because of her caste, gender, as well as class. She had to get help from Kadamuthu. Let's see how Kadamuthu turns this into a caste-based conflict. saying that he wants to help tangam he encourages her to sign a petition which will turn this case into something that is purely caste based it is clear from the start how kadamuthu uses his power to gain advantages for himself knowing that a petition is filed the upper caste men try to frame the dalit woman for theft with muscle power kadamuthu's men stop this from happening in return the upper caste men deny dalits for work this all builds up to a huge caste based conflict in the village dalits demand for a raise in wages which afterwards get approved by the upper castes only for their work hours to increase caste based tension rises so high that village has violence which broke out the upper castes commit arson by burning the cheris houses because of demands for compensation for the burnt houses compensations are given to the dalits now kadamuthu is seen taking a chunk out of the tangam's money she got as compensation she agrees that he deserves the money this displays dalit patriarchy after all this kadamuthu also sexually assaults tangam remember Tangam is a woman who cried for help from Kadamuthu only for her to be hurt by him too because of her vulnerability she finds no other way to escape the hardships on a positive note gauri kadamuthu's daughter represents the educated subaltern the one who wishes to escape and reform she wishes to go to college for higher education she flinches at the mention of caste She criticizes the upholder of the social institution that is caste even if it's her own dad. She faces caste discrimination in college. She wants to escape the caste focused village as soon as she can. She is a ray of hope in the darkness of caste. She is unmarried and independent at the end of the novel. She has many autobiographical qualities of the author P Shivakami herself. Here is my review on the grip of change. Shivagami is the first Tamil Dalit woman to write a novel. Translated by Shivagami herself, the grip of change is about some incidents which happen in a village regarding the various caste communities. Shivagami has evidently written the book as a criticism of the greedy leadership of the Dan Dalit movement. The protagonist is Kadamuthu, a parayar leader who can speak well and gain respect from anyone if he wants to. The book starts with a gruesome description of a beaten-up woman, Tangam, pleading for help from Kadamuthu. The book follows a series of events which occur after this. Grip of Change discusses about many issues like abuse, rape, communal violence, caste discrimination and more by incorporating people and their stories. Dalit patriarchy is strongly illustrated in the novel through the protagonist himself.
கதமுத்து ஷோன் அ குட் லைட் இன் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த நோவல் எட் த ஃப்ளோஸ் ஹி பொசஸஸ் மேக் த ரீடர் டவுட் ஹிம் மோர் ஆஸ் த புக் ப்ராக்ரெஸஸ் female characters are shown in this book with such nuance that it holds great importance in dalit literature the character that stands out the most to me is kadamuthu's daughter gauri she aspires to get educated and leave the caste focused village her character goes through intense development and throughout towards the end she is an educated woman who is self dependent and unmarried something that was and still can be seen as unconventional as well as revolutionary for a dalit woman gauri comments on many unfair incidents that happen around her throughout the story she represents the population in lower castes which get educated and informed caste discrimination is shown from different perspectives mainly those of women dalit women being bearers of all three gender class and caste discrimination are the actual focus of the novel the grip on the title is of the leaders of the dalit movement the grip is strong and seems like a chokehold of power sometimes this novel gives an intersectional perspective on the caste based violence which occurs in the village of athur the grip of change does not reduce the dalit identity to just victimhood and oppression instead their festivals traditions and cultures were all descriptively shown as well the fights between padayachis and parayars are the main conflicts of the story the abuse of power by police and the leniency towards the upper caste by the authorities are clearly shown in the grip of change kadamuthu is described as a good speaker who can also be arrogant There are many metaphors used in the book to really show the atrocities Dalits face on a daily basis. The author has given utmost attention to illustrating the hardships of lower caste people who solely depend on the less than minimum wage they get. A well-written novel on the cruel and non-forgiving social institution that persists over generations and how it affects the people who are trying to find a better life. P. Shivagami has made a wonderful piece of literature for generations to read. I learned a lot of things by reading The Grip of Change. Dalit women are used as puppets for forced sex by upper caste men in a lot of villages. Upper caste men make lower castes fight with each other for gaining control and power. Schools where lower castes go to are the schools that upper castes won't send their kids to. This leads to ghettoization. Dalit patriarchy is clearly shown by the savior complex of Kadamuthu. The lower caste people's wages did not match their desires. There is a trend where only educated people wanted to leave the village as soon as they got jobs. Police authorities were very lenient towards the upper caste people and agreed to plant evidence for them against the Dalits. The novel also has a subplot of familial conflicts. Now that we know the plot of the book, we'll move on to my thoughts about the book. I'll also tell you some quotes that stood out to me the most. There are many pieces of dialogues between the patriarch who is dominant and the vulnerable women in the book. Here are some of the quotes that stood out to me the most. Just because you and I don't talk about it, it doesn't mean caste doesn't exist. It will persist for generations. On page 75 Arunachala Reddy are displeased over the decision to raise the wages joined Prajonti Udayar and ask we should not have agreed to higher wages don't worry we'll make them work an extra hour when we pay more we have the right to demand more work from them on the same page another quote goes like this in continuous with the traditions of the society they lived in the lower caste had learned to tolerate the intolerable on page number 31 prajonti udayar goes like this even if she was hurt she was hurt by the hand adorned with gold ungrateful whore 
Aparachi would never dreamt of being touched by a man like me. My touch was a boon granted for penance performed in her earlier births. And then the dirty bitch betrays me. How can I face world with my name thus polluted? On page number 19. I don't understand. Look, Kadamutu, was it what I said? You know I never pay attention to caste. I am not a Brahmin preserving the old order, afraid of the wrath of the gods. All that I am particular about is cleanliness. That's all. Kadamutu goes, Oh, so there is another meaning to untouchability. I did not know that. Right, don't you come near me with your fall breath and stained teeth. You talk about cleanliness. Just you look at my teeth. Cleanliness. Our chaps toil in the mud every day. Worse than cattle. If you gave them enough money, you would be surprised to see how handsome they could be. Cleanliness, exclaims Kadamutu. Here is another quote that Gauri, Gauri says. The sufferings that my mother underwent in her marriage. I don't want to be tortured like her by some man. These are some of the many quotes that stood out to me from reading The Grip of Change. According to Vai Supriya, Though the novel is fictitious, the characters and incidents are realistic enough to verbalize the reality of modern society. Truly, P. Shivakami is able to formulate the poignant tale of a woman's struggle to fight and survive in a biased society through Tangam's story and Gauri's protests, which suggest that silence and suppression is optimistically replaced by a simulated and resisting expression. From the beginning to the end, this novel draws attention to violent realities, sexual assaults, psychological torments and economical exploitation along with a message that a democratic approach is essential to eradicate such discriminatory ideologies from social fabric. This novel teaches us a lot about the subaltern and the educated subaltern and also the intersectional discrimination and plight of women in a Dalit society. Caste is a dark social institution that will persist for generations to come and have persisted for centuries. That is why the semi-autobiographical novel the Grip of Change is important and relevant in today's times. And that was my book review for The Grip of Change by P. Shivagami. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed.